Cosman Uraga fit in as a freshman at Cedar Crest High School in Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. He played sports, he participated in clubs, and he had straight A's. But when he turned 16, he realized his situation was different. After you turn 16, your friends start working or just getting their junior driver's license. I couldn't even do that. All my friends kept asking me, uh, well, let me drive. And I have to be like, oh, I'm afraid of driving. Or I just make up lies like, oh, I was in a car crash when I was a kid. I don't like driving for that reason. That's not true. I love driving. In 2004, Uraga's family had moved from Mexico illegally to the U.S. for a better life. He was an excellent student, but after his junior year, he started to give up. Uraga thought, because he was undocumented, that he had no future. There were some moments that I felt like a rage, because I knew I was smarter than a lot of my peers in school. I just didn't care. His parents cared and made him meet with his high school counselor for help. The counselor said without documentation, he had no opportunities in the U.S. and would have to return to Mexico. I was very upset, but I was more upset because of what happened to my mom. They look at my mom's face. Uh, she looked uh, very sad and disappointed. Not on me, but on the counselor across from us. Undocumented students like Uraga did not have many options until President Barack Obama created DACA in 2012. That if your parents brought you here as a child, you've been here for five years and you're willing to go to college or serve in our military, you can one day earn your citizenship. Deferred action, however, is only a temporary solution and does not grant legal status to those individuals that use the policy. Now, many fear that DACA may be repealed by the incoming administration of President-elect Donald Trump. Well, they're scared. Uh, they've been bullied. I have been bullied myself after the election. But the only thing you can do is worry about yourself and prove them wrong. Uraga's parents never gave up, and neither did he. He married his girlfriend of six years and could finally attend college. Uraga stayed in Lebanon, worked several jobs to pay the out-of-state tuition to attend community college, and earned his business degree. He currently works as a banker, but is working on his master's degree in student affairs in higher education. Uraga wants to become a college counselor for students who find themselves in a situation like his. I hope to be in that side of the desk, and I hope instead of me telling the students, hey, go back home, be like, no, here are the options that we have and you go and follow your dreams, because that's what it's all about. But we just lack others believing in us and us believing in ourselves. For me, it's just helping other kids, because when I see them, I see myself like I was.